Come with us on a trip to the five weirdest sites on the internet. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Okay, the internet is a weird place. There are a lot of weird destinations on the internet, and we are going to go to what we think are the five weirdest sites on the internet. Now, we saw an article uh, over at Gizmodo about some weird internet sites, and I read that and I noticed that uh, there were people who thought they had left out some very weird sites in the comments, so I started going to some of these websites in the comments and realized that between the article and then the comments below, we could assemble what we thought were the five weirdest sites on the internet, and that's oh. what we have right here, and we're gonna actually do a little screen capture technology and go to these sites right now, Link. Okay, let's, let's pull it forward. Okay. So, hey, where are you taking me first, Rhett? Uh, the first and site. So can you use like a like a tour guide kind of a? The first site right in front of you, not on your right or your left, but right in front of you on this computer screen is lingscars.com. I like any website that the top of the website says the name of the website, including .com again. All right, this is lingscars.com. In case you didn't know that, it says it again at the very top. I love that. This is a UK contract hire cars from Ling Valentine which I think is supposed to be a sentence. Uh, so apparently there's a guy named Ling Valentine who does contract hire for cars well, in the UK. He has a lot of time to soup up his website too. You know, actually, like. I think it's a woman actually. Oh, the, the, in the upper right. Yeah, yeah, this is, is that a woman or a man? It doesn't matter. But you can play stupid game right there. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, well, there's a lot, there's so much going on in my computer is seizing up a little bit. Uh, the Twitter feed, uh, Link's Cars has a little hen that goes across it because it, to draw your attention to it, I guess. And then there's a little play button that it says new sexy right next to that. Christine, full rep here. Yeah, let's so see some full So we should probably click on this. Now as you can see, she is singing into a power drill, not a microphone. Okay. That was entertaining, and just to the right of it, it says fear cars, free, and the car is bulging. Man, there's so much going on here. This is scary. And then, I mean, but it keeps going. Whoa. There, there's this, well, oh my goodness, look at this. Ling Vader. Ling Vader being orbited by great deals. Look she at this. She is dressed up as Darth Vader. Cars in space, but it doesn't stop. Look, you can, there's some sort of talk thing over here. I'm gonna close that. There's a live chat, they have a live chat on Click their on car that. website. Let's do that. That's what it just was, I don't wanna do a live chat right now, I'm not into that kind of thing. I don't do the chat room thing. Oh, here we go, here's a better picture of Ling. I think that is a woman. Are, we, are you sure we're on the website or are we just getting all the pop-up ads that obstruct the view of the website? This is the actual website and look, notice this, when you click on a car it bounces up and down, look. Baby Ling says, cheapest chips. That was Ling's cars. Uh, is pretty involved. This one's a little simpler. I feel like I need to take a nap after that one. I'm exhausted. Okay, this one's perfect for you then. It's called not even doom, not even doom music .com. Now check this out. It's interactive. Well, hold on. Even before you do that, N E D M. Is this like a band? No, it's just and a website. So this is the portal to the website. We got a wallpaper that is. A cat. A, is that cat alive or taxidermized? It's a ferocious cat. That is a creepy looking cat. So this is the portal. If you click on this, it goes to the website. No, if you click on this, it just does this. It makes the cat's face appear in an echo format. And it makes a noise, see that? And look, and you can overpower it. Here I'm doing, see how the cat's appearing? Yeah. So you can hit the cat's face in rhythm. Now I will say, during the research phase of this, I spent approximately seven hours at this website in one sitting, just doing this. Ooh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. That's, That's not, dance. not even doom music. That was a lot of fun. What is it if it's not even doom music? I don't know. This, what is doom music if that's not even it? And now this is OJ.com. This is not OJ Simpson's personal website. 
This is someone who has obviously reserved OJ.com <laughs> and thinks that this is a great idea and it says, coming soon, OJ.com will be the new website for one of America's favorite brands of orange juice. Couple of observations. First of all, this guy's very forward thinking. Obviously this site was developed at least 15 years ago. <laughs> right, yeah. And saying this will be the new website for a brand that never came. Mm -hmm. Tropicana never emailed. Nope, it's still just this. It's still this hope of a hope, you know? For inquiries, please call. Can I call? Sure, man, call that number. 847-926-4444. Play the OJ game. Click here. What, what, what? In case you don't remember, one pint equals two cups. Right, this is, I'm gonna say I'm a Tropicana. If they answer. I mean, this guy really answered the phone. Sorry, the mailbox is full and there is not enough space to leave a message. Of course. <laughs> Of course, because all the major brands have called so many times. And left messages. Yeah. Tropicana is just like begging messages every day. So I need OJ.com. That looks like a great game. I think I'll play it later for hours. Um, yeah, it's not really for me. So anyway, I think this is an opportunity for you major orange juice brands out there to see the, the thing that you're missing, and that is you could own OJ.com. Obviously, it is available and for sale, but you're probably gonna have to fax them because the the, mail, the voicemail box is totally full with the telephone. Fax thing. them at 815-301-6743. The tour continues. Okay, this next one is Letters to Lorn. Uh, actually, the website I think is dwdiamond.com slash l2l.html, very catchy name. Okay, so this guy made an, an appearance on SNL, Saturday Night Live, years ago, like 30 years ago. And then, ever since then, he has contacted, he has written a letter to Lorne Michaels, the producer and, and you know creator of SNL, asking, telling him that he should be on the cast. And he has all of his letters, which he wrote many, like, there's 101 on this weird stationery yeah, and stuff like this. The first 101 were a warm up. Just a warm up. He did it every day for years and now it's le it's less. You know, you can just click on one of these. It's like, after, dear Lauren, after you said that the line was such a bomb, was there any significant surge of viewers? Could that have been part of the motivation behind your statement? Other, it, it's just weird, weird stuff. These long detailed letters and you know that Lauren Michaels has read every single one of these letters. His email is dwdingdong at yahoo.com. So if any of you are interested in having a correspondence uh, with someone who's willing to do it probably daily, um, and his username has the words ding and dong in it, well, he's the guy you can befriend. <laughs> and if you just wanna pass some time reading letters to Lauren Michaels. Uh, that's someone where, needs to read them. That's where you can do that. Oh, wow. And, okay, and last. Is this like a grand finale to the end of the tour? And are you gonna ask for tips? Uh, last but not least, we have staggeringbeauty.com. I'm just gonna let you play with this one. You just feel free to interact. Total, oh, here we go. Follows my cursor. Yeah. When I click it, does does nothing. Moving around. Oh, look, I'm dancing. Shake vigorously. Oh! oh! <laughs> See that? Let me do that again. See how entertaining that is? Uh, wasn't me. See, did you get that? Who says wasn't me? He says that. Wasn't me. <laughs> you mean with his expression? Yeah, with like his expression. Maybe it's just me. He doesn't have much of an expression. It's two, two white dots. It's like, shake vigorously. Then it's like, what, what, wasn't me? Uh, how do you like this tour? You have a good time? Uh. Well, next time I'm probably gonna look for another tour. I, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I'm thinking about opening up I'll one be of those, more brutal on Yelp. I'm thinking about doing one of those Hollywood buses that has no top to it, and then people just get on, and I give them a laptop, and I'm like, all right, let's go to some websites. <laughs> and then the bus doesn't move. Save a lot on gas. Yeah, we don't use gas. In you fact, know what time it is. I'm Alan from Kelso, Washington, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. What I was saying was is the bus wouldn't work. It would just be an inoperable bus. Yeah, but you'd have to buy laptops. Uh, make sure you're following us on Instagram if you like pictures of things like Miniature Horse Monday, Waffles Wednesday, or Fan Art Friday. Uh, awkward arm wrestle. All right, hey man, let's arm wrestle. I've been meaning to, I've been meaning to. Yeah, I, I accept your challenge. I'm meaning to do this. Uh, I don't know. 
Um, I don't quite remember how to do it. Do you? All right, here we go. Okay. One, yeah, this this two, isn't right, is it? Three. It feels a little awkward. Which way? Where are you, which way are you pushing? What are you trying to do? What are you, am I pulling you? Is that what I I'm think, doing? I think if I maybe if I grab your face here. Well, why don't you have a sweater on? Mm. <laughs> There it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. found it. Yeah, okay. Lock, and, lock it in. I said, and I'm winning. <laughs> One of the main things I would do on the internet was go to the banned websites. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounds like. B A W N D. I would go to banned websites. Oh, okay.